to the first in-depth installment of Doom Pro Weekly Waiver Wire Finds. Our subject this week is the San Francisco 49er running back, Matt Breda. Breda has already seen some action in the first five weeks of the 2017 NFL season, and he's already proven to have value in the run and passing game. We will discuss why it might be worth keeping an eye on Breda if he's still available on the waiver wire. First, we'll look at some of Breda's college tape. Not only does it demonstrate specific skills that translate to the NFL game, but it also shows some of the running schemes that correlate with Kyle Shanahan in the 49ers. And it's the context of Kyle Shanahan's scheme that further fleshes out Brady's role as a running back in the San Francisco 49er offense. Finally, we'll examine some of the scouting traits that prove Brady a talented NFL runner. We'll start with Brady's college career at Georgia Southern and the impressive offensive production he created in his first couple years. Breda's dominant Georgia Southern years were 2014 and 2015, when the Eagles went 9 and 4 and 9 and 5, respectively. The offense ranked 10th and 28th those years under head coach Willie Fritz. Fritz moved on to Tulane in 2016, and the Georgia Southern team struggled on the ground and in the wins losses column. Points per game dropped from 39.1 and 36.5 in 2014 and 2015 to 26.6 in 2016. That same year, the team finished 5 and 7. Brady's production followed suit and was a reason that his draft stock fell. Georgia Southern's offense is the spread option. Often, the option is run from under center, but Georgia Southern switched it when Fritz took over to the shotgun pistol. And Fritz added certain blocking concepts, which contributed highly to the experience that Breda carried with him to San Francisco. Now, obviously, we won't see a lot of option game at the NFL level, but the seven blocking runs are prominent. Let's take a look at one of those plays. Let's begin taking a look at how Breeder functions in a zone blocking scheme. We will examine a split zone run play against a 3-4 Texas State defensive front. Two things on film that can help one identify if the play involves zone blocking. The feet of the O-lineman in double teams at the point of attack. Now, different terminology or blocking choices occur from team to team, but traditionally the reads for the running back are quite simple. They have to be. The play happens so quickly there's not enough time to make them complex. When the running back gets the ball, Breeder will aim for the outside leg of the left guard. Often against a 3-4 front, the running back's first read is the play side end, in this case, the left end from the offensive's perspective. A 3-4 front read correlates more with the outside zone sequence of reads. If the left end goes out, then Brito would go inside of that, through the B-gap. If the left end goes in, then typically Brito would go out into the C-gap, although that's not what happens here. If the left hand goes out and the nose tackle goes the same way, then Breda would count it back behind the nose tackle. So now that we know the reads, let's see how Georgia Southern chooses to block it. At the snap of the ball, all the linemen will take a sound step to the play side. And again, this helps to descend sound blocking when watching film. Going from left to right, the left tackle will block the left end the uncovered left guard will climb to the inside linebacker. The 
The center cuts off the nose tackle. The right guard initially appears to climb, but then helps double on the nose tackle. The right tackle releases to the other inside linebacker, and in doing so, gives the right end an unblock release, but it's really just a trap lock for the right end to get trapped by the fullback. Let's see what happens. Not only does the play give us some insight into split zone, but it also reveals Breed's talent as a runner. As we can see, Breeders read, the left end gets complete penetration by taking away the big gap and affecting the entire run. But look what Breed is able to do. This play extracts many of the scouting traits that transition Breed into the NFL game. Speed, balance, competitive toughness, power, low pad level, and ball security. All these skills, combined with his experience in zone blocking schemes, contributed to Breeze eventually into the NFL and to San Francisco. San Francisco is in a new era. The Kyle Shanahan regime begins. Shanahan was signed to a six-year deal this past offseason. He brings with him a great deal of pedigree and influence. Of course, most know that Kyle is the son of legendary coach Mike Shanahan. Mike Shanahan was the head coach of the late powerhouse Broncos teams that won back-to-back -back Super Bowls in the late 90s. Kyle's current playbook features many of the plays and schemes he learned during his time with his dad. The Broncos' run game was legendary in the late 90s. They kept replacing running back after running back, year after year, and with an offensive line that size-wise was always in the bottom five of the league. Quite remarkable. And the running scheme they utilized was developed by offensive line coach Alex Gibbs, often referred to as the godfather of the zone blocking scheme. Gibbs basically ran four plays. Inside zone, strong and weak, and outside zone, strong and weak. His imprints are still seen throughout Shanahan's run game. Outside zone is the foundation of the Kyle Shanahan offense. As Bill Belichick said in reference to the Shanahan playbook, if you can't stop that play, it's going to be a long day. He's an outside zone run from San Francisco's first offensive play at Seattle this year. Chuck Hyde is lined up seven and a half yards behind the quarterback. He wants to stay on the track, ideally aiming for the outside of the tight end. We'll use the Alex Gibbs language to discuss the reads in the outside zone. An outside zone, a wide zone, as Gibbs calls it, the running back's first read will be the widest down lineman not necessarily the widest player on the line of scrimmage. The read is not the linebacker in a two-point stance. It is the widest down lineman. In this case, it's number 72, Michael Bennett. The running back will read this down lineman. The reads are meant to be simple. Again, as Gibbs states, if he goes out, you go in. If he goes in, you go out. And if that read goes out, then the running back progresses to the second read, working outside in. And if the second read goes out, the running back goes in. And if he goes in, then the running back goes out. Simple. Efficient. Let's see how the reads unfold to this zone run. Notice that Hyatt keeps his shoulders at an angle. This is done to keep the linebackers flowing horizontally and allows for easier cuts. If Hyatt turned his shoulders square to the line of scrimmage, then the linebackers wouldn't flow, stretching themselves, and it would be easier for linebackers to sit and wait for the running back. Hyatt must see his first read 
Michael Bennett get hooked by the right tackle and takes the ball outside. He picks up four yards and allows the offense to stay on track. Gibbs preaches no negatives. If outside and inside zone can eliminate plays of negative yardage, it'll keep the offense on track and present manageable and convertible second and third downs. Brady's zone experience will benefit him greatly in this fundamental Shanahan play. Already, Brady has begun acclimating himself into the Shanahan system. Brady has a number of traits that even in his extremely short NFL career prove his capability as a skilled running back. On this play, he shows mental processing, patience behind his blocks, sharp cutting ability, and balance. This is a gap scheme run. The tight end will down block. The pulling guard kicks out the edge defender and we get the fullback leading Brea up through the newly created gap. Notice that Breda stays tight to his blocker and his shoulders are square to the line of scrimmage, allowing an efficient two-way go off of the block. He shows patience to not overrun, allowing the play to unfold without forcing the issue. Breda simultaneously correlates his cut with the fullback's engagement of the linebacker. And here, Breda gets tripped up by an attempted tackler, but he exhibits exemplary balance by staying on his feet, absorbing another tackle, and falling forward for several more yards. Breda on this play demonstrated his versatility in gap scheme runs in addition to the previously revealed zone blocking schemes. His running style blends a low center of gravity and power with grace. with you as the fact 
this season unfolds, injuries happen and variables surmount. It might be the rookie Matt Brady who contributes to a league championship. Thank you. This has been a Doom Pro presentation.